Hello and welcome to the Yacht Geschwader 13 tutorial. This is the Devil One Free speaking. Today I am about to show you the basics of spawning, flight, spinning and landing. To spawn, simply select an airfield on which you want to spawn by double clicking on its uh, icon. It will show you a window like this. Double click on the aircraft picture to bring you into the plane options window where you simply click on the plane name to select your aircraft. As you can see we got a big selection of aircraft to choose from. But for this tutorial I'm gonna use a Messerschmitt BF 109 E3 variant. When you have your settings set, you simply click OK and to spawn, you click Create. Then it's the basics. Start up the engine, get the sights on, and you have the morale, you just simply open the cabin. Also looks more realistic. And you just wait for uh, the engine to start, as it appears it just started. Now to taxiway, you should give this particular aircraft 10% uh, throttle to get it rolling and then 20% uh, throttle to get it rolling and 10% throttle to keep it rolling. As you taxi, you want to use the brakes and the rudder, however you don't want to be too rough on the rudder as you spin out. Now to take off there are two kinds of how to do it. Uh, both are doable on as off-road as on on runway takeoffs. Uh, the width chalks, as I'm about to show you, the chalk one, the first. Simply, you come to a full stop, engage the chalks. Cockpit is closed for takeoff. Check the controls if you have the time to do it. Make sure everything works, then you throttle up, release the chocks and engage the boost web if you have it. If you don't, you simply pop the 110% on the British. You wait until your tail lifts, just slightly, wait a couple seconds and then lift her up. Make it a gentle lift, make sure not to flare up too soon or too hot. Otherwise, you'll stall or spin out. And as you're taking off, you want to be keeping a low angle of ascent in order to also gain airspeed. You won't be stalling out if uh, you have uh, that in mind. Don't do too rash maneuvers. If you do, the aircraft will spin out. This was a light spin, as I just showed. You simply get out of it. Uh, you simply get out of it uh, by simply letting go of the uh, elevator control and uh, inserting the opposite aileron input as from which the aircraft is uh, spinning. Now, as I have the boost web disengaged, it is immediately visible on the controls that. I'm slowly getting uh, height and the airspeed. Now, as for the spins, I'll have to get on to some altitude at first in case a spin lasts longer than I expect it to. Now, just give the aircraft some time to get it. Uh, to get itself to some altitude, it might take some time. Now, as for ex uh, to enter the spin, you simply uh, pull your stick up or down, fall, uh, alerons left or right, fall and the rudder into corresponding direction. You'll get into a spin fairly easily. Uh, 
I'll stay on about 2.5 kilometers. And I think that's an enemy. Keep an eye out on this asshole. Might just be an ass an enemy. Now, uh, as it goes for combat, you m on German aircraft you might want to use uh, 10 to 20 percent flaps, uh, since it'll give you stability during the flight, and you will spin out uh, slower. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to be harsh on the controls before spinning out. However, for the British, uh, I seriously disrecommend use of flaps unless you are going in for landing because they just make you lose too much airspeed at the time. Especially on the Spitfire which only has two positions. I use the flaps only for the landing. Or for extreme combat situations where you seriously don't need to retain the speed to continue fighting. Like you're doing a groundhog or something. Like I already by far surpassed the altitude. That's nice. Now to enter a spin, just do what I said before. Now to show you how to pull out of a spin, I'm gonna try to get myself into the car, uh, into the nastiest spin I can get, uh, and then I'll try to pull out of it. Here I go. Alright, I'm spinning like a crazy. Now to get out of the spin, simply... If you were spinning like this... Nose down, full, meaning elevator down, full... Uh, Alerons and rudder in opposite direction of the spin, and you're out of the spin. Now this was from the cockpit, I'm gonna repeat it once more... This time from the external view. You'll be able to see a little better what is going on. Here I go. And as it goes for the pullout, simply make it go nose down and then pull out easily. And as you were seeing at the exit of the spin, I accidentally almost spun out again. Now that was without the flaps. Now I'm going to use uh, about 20% flaps to show you how to actually pull out that it uh, with the flaps and you will notice that you will need a lot less uh, altitude in order to get your aircraft back under control. Now I got 10% uh, flaps, will give me a bit of stability or no, I think I'll use 20. Okay, that's about 20% I think, yeah, that's 20. Now with the 20% flaps, as you probably can already notice, I can do a lot harder curves without spinning out. And as it goes for the spin, it's basically the same. Just that I'll be able to exit the spin a little faster. And as I enter the spin at a lower speed, I first had to neutralize the uh, horizontal spinning force before entering the dive. And as I was pulling out, I managed to get con the aircraft back under control fairly easily. 
Now as it goes from the cockpit, it looks like this. And let her spin a little bit. Now to pull out simply get in uh, the exact opposite of what the plane was spinning and pull her out easily. That's pretty much it. Now just for the perfection's sake, I'm gonna do a... I'm gonna try to get into an even nastier spin that's fairly hard to get in when you are in uh, combat, but sometimes you still do enter it. Now it's an inverted spin that is a bitch to pull out of because you land into a normal spin fairly easily. Let me see if I still can do it. Ah, there we go. Alright, here I go spinning. Now as for the pull out, I spun out slightly but managed to get the plane under control in time. Now as it goes from the cockpit, it looks like this. Spinning like crazy. Am I going to pull out? As you probably just noticed, I spun out slightly again on the pullout, but managed to get the plane back under control in time. Now, if you are cruising on uh, like surging for any enemies or surging for your uh, home airfield to land. 30% uh, throttle is pretty enough for a faster cruise. You'll be keeping an airspeed of around 300 kilometers an hour. Uh, for slower cruise airspeeds, 20% uh, should also be enough since uh, You'll be keeping an airspeed of 250 kilometers an hour. That airspeed would be also suitable for uh, bomber escorting if you are trying to keep formation with one. Now, as it goes for taking off and flight with bombers, dive bombers, uh, and fighter bombers, uh, you want to adjust to uh, actual se uh, stall sensitivity of any aircraft. With bombers, however, especially with the Heinkel 111, you want to be extremely easy on the stick, especially at the takeoff, since any mistake you do at the takeoff will be noticeable during the flight itself. Now, as it goes for the landing, it's just uh, locate the runway, put the flaps down full. However, try to keep the airspeed below 300 when on lower than combat flaps since then you are risking your uh, flaps uh, and your landing gear hydraulics now, as I'm approaching the runway I'm also starting to put my landing gear down let me see if the flaps are down already flaps are down as I wait for the landing gear indicators to turn green which they just did you just approach the runway, make sure you line up with the runway before touching down. Now the aircraft might be prone to spinning or uh, bouncing off, especially to bouncing off. Uh, you just uh, want to keep the aircraft steady and if the aircraft just starts bouncing all over the place, you just abort the landing procedure and uh, go around for another landing. Now, let me see how much of a soft landing I can get with a lot of practice. Let's see. Now, just as you are about to approach to make the final approach, you throttle down. And when you are landing, you want to make sure your touchdown is as soft as possible to keep the aircraft off bouncing off from bouncing off as much as possible and meanwhile you are decreasing your airspeed 
you want to keep your aircraft nice and straight for the duration and once you think you regained enough control re uh, reduced enough speed to keep the plane under control from spinning out like mine just wanted to you want to clear the runway as soon as you can in order for any uh, landing for any aircraft waiting to land or take off to have a go now when I was talking about spin outs on ground I was talking about exactly this I was barely able to get the plane back under control and then it just taxi away for an appropriate uh, spot for uh, parking and shut off the engine and the rest but as I'm going to show you the second way to take off the without chocks takeoff uh, I'm taxiwaying to the beginning of the runway yet again. Now as I go, I'm going to make a quick fly around the map. And then a uh, landing. Now this time I'll keep it uh, nice and low and fast. But basically for a non chalk takeoff, you just uh, want to throttle up. And once you're in a starting to roll you engage the boost web and that's pretty much it the rest is uh, basically as I already showed before as I'm lined up for the runway with the runway for the takeoff I check around for any other aircraft that are landing or taking off to prevent any aerial collisions and as I'm sure that the runway is clear I begin with my uh, taking off approach keep the uh, remember to keep the aircraft nice and lined up with the runway and after the tail lifts up wait a couple seconds then rise her up Now I took off at around 250 kilometers an hour. Well, finished the takeoff procedure at 250. Now there is one thing you might want to watch out for. During the takeoff, if you are still on the ground at anything above 200 kilometers an hour, uh, the possibility of your landing gear tires bursting is extremely high. So you want to get off the ground before you hit 200. Okay, let's see about that land right now. This guy is getting a little annoying. As it appears, we got an enemy aircraft surging around. Going in to finish him off. Oh, SHOD, I see. Looks like we got a 4 inch Spitfire. So I'm not going to show you the basics of uh, dogfighting, I think this is an AI. Am I lagging? Bloody hell, the lag is the lag is fucking real. I wonder why. Ah, there he is, that little bastard. 
I'm gonna try my hand at uh, attacking from above. Messerschmitt excels at that since it keeps a higher speed and uh, the enemy won't be able to respond quick enough. I think if I manage to get a one good burst across him, I can get him. Why does it have to lag on me like this? Ah, there he goes. Nice kill. As you saw, I used some flaps to also increase my maneuverability with the Messerschmitt. And that is basically what I was talking about. Uh, uh, when I was recommending to use 15 to 20 percent flaps, uh, to, uh, actually 10 to 20 percent. I don't know. Uh, on the Zerstörer aircraft, uh, that means the Messerschmitt 110, you usually use uh, 15 percent. Now, I showed the takeoff, I showed some fight, and we even got to see some dog fighting. Well, more like a vulture. Now I'm going in for a landing, nice sweet soft landing, parking, and that'll be it. I guess I didn't keep the promise about keeping it nice slow and uh, fast, but oh well, some dogfight is always better than just some flying around. Gear down, flaps are down. see how soft I'll get it this time. Now this is a fucked up landing, as you saw, I lagged out while pulling out causing me to bounce too hard uh, and uh, wreck the aircraft. And as if things couldn't get any worse, I spun out at the landing itself. Now this landing is certainly something what you should not do. God damn it, what's causing me to lag? Again, I fucked up this landing because I lagged out at a critical point. Uh, while I was flaring, so it caused me to flare too hard, causing the aircraft to bounce too hard and bounce out of control. Now I hope this uh, tutorial has been helpful to you. This is the Jagdgeschwader 13 Commandant, Devil 1-3, signing out.